Is that okay? Cool. So, good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. At the financial abuse um, call. It's a very, really nice topic, eh? <laughs> um, Yummy. Obviously, because it's translated to many, many languages around Europe. Yeah, Serbian as well, as you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, what would your life be like if there was no abuse, especially no financial abuse in the world? What, what is abuse and what is especially financial abuse? So, one of the things with abuse, any time uh, when there is abuse or you are abused, um, what it does, it, um, it creates um, a shrinkage, it creates uh, a contraction in your whole world, even in your body. So, and the thing is, you as an infinite being, the nature of you is, um, is expansion. So, any, anything that they do to you, that contract you, or that makes you to contract, um, that is against your nature. Imagine that if you live in a world where your nature is expansion, and then some people start to control you, and they find out, oh, if I do this, the people will shrink, they will contract, and if they con contracted, they cannot really be that infinite, they cannot be present in their lives. So it's an amazing uh, way for people to make others feel less, contract them, to shrink them, and control them. Because when you are, when you are made less or when you feel that you are not that worthy or you are not amazing, when you are not empowered but disempowered, then you just start to lose your capacity. Actually, you are the one who does this to yourself because it's a reaction from your side, but it's designed very well to make you react this way. It tells you a lie that you are the cause, you are the reason of this issue, and you have to be punished for that, or you have to punish yourself for that, or there will be a punishment in the future. And because of that, you start to shrink yourself. And you start to hold yourself back from creating something greater. So in this particular case about financial abuse, imagine that if you are not expanding in the area of finances, in the area of money, but you are, um, you are always contracting, Anytime when there is a topic about money, instead of looking at money from the space of possibilities, <laughs> you start to um, have um, the feeling of no possibility, no choice, no expansion. And just look around in the world how many people are living under um, the minimum wages, how many people are there who are not um, doing a job that they would enjoy or a profession that they would enjoy. So truth, um, what, yeah, yeah. Actually, what would it take to change this everywhere in the world? And the amazing thing is, if you are aware of the different um, ways of financial abuse, if you are aware of what is actually financial abuse, you start to be um, sending and sharing this information energetically and, and being the information in the world. An information that everyone else can have access to. Even if you are not talking about it, just because you are aware of that, people start to have access to this information. So are you willing to be um, the lighthouse of consciousness? 
So, just to make it simple, what else is possible um, in your life if you are not made wrong? What else can you create and what else can you receive if you are not made, made wrong all the but, time about but money? But empowered all the time. Like, um, you know, when they say you spend too much and there is no point, there is, you know, it's a stupid thing to spend on your friends or spend money on your partner or spend that money on your kids. So everywhere, um, when you are made wrong, and told, let, let's say, you know, there is this typical thing what they say about women, that how you make uh, a man, how can a wife can make a man millionaire? <laughs> the husband has to be a billionaire before. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. So that's a typical <laughs> joke about um, this topic. Because the idea is that the the reason for for families or reason for men for losing money or having not enough money is that their wives or their partners are spending too much and everything that brings up will you destroy and create all of that right and wrong good and bad for them for all nine shorts boys and beyond so all the lies and limitations so everywhere where they connect this to the gender and also everywhere where in all those countries and all those professions where they pay less for uh, women who have the same skills in the same profession and same experience, but still their wages are lower Just because than, they are women. than males. And everything this brings up and everywhere the root of this lies, will you now destroy and uncreate all that and return back to the center beyond time and space? Right and wrong, good and bad, put and poke, all nine shorts, boys and beyond. So what else is really possible with this uh, topic? What else is possible with financial and money? Yeah, so, and also there are all those contracts where, where um, let's say, where there is this belief of the old ways that it's enough to to shake hands because our parents and grandparents did business like just shaking hands and with verbal agreement yeah and there are those people who are sort of like abusing this uh belief or abusing this old paradigm and they say okay let's agree on this and then they do the opposite of it or they don't do any of that just simply because they want to uh, abuse the rule, they would like to um, create financial um, benefits for themselves by abusing others financially. Or how many times um, it happened to you that it was told that if you pay this much, you will receive this service, and then the service wasn't that quality. Or how many times did you buy something um, and of course, at the end, they said, um, it's your fault because you didn't tell me, or it's your fault because, um, um, because I mentioned this, but you were not listening, or it's your fault because, um, just because it's always, it's always your fault. fault. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. Okay. And when you buy something, you know, and, and, and maybe <laughs> there is, um, you know, in the advertisement, the, the tiny, um, um, the, the terms and conditions. Little shown. tiny, you know, you, you really can't see that. And then you just try, you just try, okay, what should it be? But you can't read it at all. And at the end they say, hey, it was in the terms and conditions. Yeah, but where was it? <laughs> yeah, so they, they really want you to make uh, wrong yourself as well. Because this is the way they, they, they can the whole situation you. is already set up for your failure. Oh, so everything that brings up for you, will you now destroy and uncreate all that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, for them, poco and shows, boys and beyond. Actually, when we moved to New Zealand, you know, we, we came from Hungary, from Europe, and everything what we talked uh, about, it was true there. So when we came here, it was so strange because it worked totally differently. It worked 
in the same, uh, in the old way, the shake hands still worked here. When they say, okay, I will do it, they did it. And it was so strange for us because we, we, do, we didn't get used to it. And wow, so how does it get any better than this? And what can we do? How can we create, you know, a totally, a different, totally different reality? reality? in the world of finance. So are you willing to, um, yeah, everywhere where you sense there is something that is not right, there is something that is wrong about that situation, are you willing to receive that? Are you willing to have clarity about it? So are you willing to be present with your finances because there is this thing of um, trusting the others, trusting their word, or, or even trusting the terms and conditions. What if they are not willing to follow what they say and they are not willing to follow what they um, agreed to? Gary always say, don't trust anyone. Trust, trust. only in your awareness. Trust yourself. Trust yes. yourself. Trust what you know, because um, you are already aware of what the other person is doing or planning to do and what is the sp uh, space and energy they are functioning from. So everywhere where we made uh, significant the, the terms and conditions, everywhere where we made significant that what they say they will do or what they made us believe they will do. So everywhere where we made significant our beliefs and our feelings about others and what they will do. We destroy and uncreate all that. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, 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 like everywhere, like, you know, if you don't have money, the, the usual thing they say that it's karma. It's totally karmic because in past lives, you did something wrong. Pretty sure you were the princess of Egypt. And now this is your punishment. Yeah, because there has to be these ups and downs. Like if you were very rich in the previous lifetime, then you have to be very, very poor in this lifetime. What if it doesn't have to be like this? What, what if, if you it... can change and you can choose a totally different thing? And what if this whole thing about ups and downs is just a big fat lie just a reasoning this and is justification a great excuse actually to do nothing yeah because does it empower you or does it tell you that um no you have no choice this is what you have put up with this is what universe give me yesterday i had a conversation with someone and it was very interesting to listen because she always said with everything. Yeah, but here we see what the universe will give me. Hmm, that's interesting. What are you choosing? So the yeah. universe will give you what you choose. <laughs> so how many lifetimes have you decided that you can rely on others and they will give you what you desire, what's required? And how many lifetimes um, it was told to you or you bought into that you don't require that much or you have to cut back your requirements because you are too needy. And for example, like for children, parents tell very often that, hey, don't want too you much. You want too much. You are not allowed to. You, can, yeah. you have to, you have it one choice. Too, yeah, it costs too much. Sometimes they don't even say it costs too much. They just say, no, 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 you are not, you, you can't choose that much. You just choose only one. We, you can't have five things. You have to learn to choose one thing that you desire the most. Big fat lie. You can have everything you want. And you, you, yeah, you can choose it and you can create the money for that. But, but the other part of it, either the parents are not willing to buy it or they are not willing to admit that they are not willing to create the money for that. But it's a totally different thing. It's not your fault. It's not, yeah. It's not your choice. Um, so actually, what would be the world be like if you were always having the, the resources and the money to create the life you desire? If you were always uh, had that sense of there is enough and not just enough, 
there is more and more and more. You always can go beyond. And you can always create beyond. What if the whole world would function from that, that we have the capacity to create beyond? Even if they say the resources on earth are finite. Yes, but what if there is always a way beyond? What if there is a, always a way to go beyond, to find out something greater, something new, something that creates more for everyone? Not just for one, but for everyone. That's the kingdom of we. Yeah. What is that financial reality on earth <laughs> that we could create if we were functioning from the kingdom of we? What can we do? What can we choose? And what contribution can we be for this? If we start to create from the beyond and from the kingdom of we. So actually, are you willing to um, instill a financial reality that is beyond this reality? Let's do like a one, two, three. So just connect to the whole universe. <laughs> connect to the whole universe all the consciousness everything all the energies in the universe and and we are connecting not just for now but for all times and spaces beyond time and space and dimensions and all your points of view about how we do it is choose to be it and do it all right so everywhere where there where finances and you were made wrong through finances and everywhere where people or any beings are functioning from limitation about finances or they bought into lies about finances or they are forcing lies on others about finances and money we destroy and uncreate right and wrong good and bad put and poke all nice shows boys and beyonds and now drop one two three on the whole universe, everywhere, to change this reality, to pull in a different reality, to instill this different reality about finances. One, two, three. 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 And let's do one, two, three, fours as well. To change all the algorithms about the finances. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Cool. <coughs> and what else is possible now? So everywhere we uh, we were functioning from from um, the lies, from that reality that didn't work for us, that didn't work for anyone. Um, are you choosing to uh, receive? this new possibility and all the combinations of these possibilities. What if we were looking, f um, what if we were uh, functioning from the space that we desire to create instead of the space that we cannot have, instead of the space that we were told not possible. So everywhere where you were functioning from that it's not possible, therefore, there is no point to even try it, even start to do it. So we destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, put and poke, all nice shorts, boys and beyonds. So actually, what is the change that you can be? Actually, um, if, yeah, if there was no financial abuse, what change you could create in your life? If you were not made wrong, or if you get out of the wrongness of you about money, that you are the reason for not having money in the family, or you are the reason for, um, for the lack of money, or you are the reason always that the company that you work in is not that uh, successful, or you are the reason for so many things, 
that is a failure and, and ev- therefore every- it's punished on you yeah and everywhere where you're functioning from failures when you start things from this space of fa- uh, failure would you destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender with consciousness attached to it right, right and wrong good and bad put and poke all nine shirts boys and beyonds <clears throat> How many times do we start things from this space? Oh, it, it won't uh, be successful. Or someone uh, tells you and you buy into it. So all the lies, whose lies, how many lies, and what lies did you buy into this? And whose lies you can fail. and you are functioning from? So everything that is, would you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, right and wrong, wrong good, good and bad, put on and shorts, boys and beyond. So all the projects in your life that you started from the space of failure, and of course, it ended up or resulted as a failure, or it shows up for you, or you um, judged it as a failure, and then you have the experience, okay, I failed in this area. I failed all, with all my projects. Is this really true, actually? Did you fail? Was it a failure at all? When did you buy into you can have a failure? So from whose point of view it was a failure? Or it just didn't work for you anymore? Right and wrong, good, good and bad, 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 So everywhere you made yourself wrong and everywhere you were made wrong, for something that they judged as a failure, will you destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender? Right and wrong, good, good and bad, 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 and bad, And all the reference points from for, this uh, failure thing, will you destroy and uncreate yeah. all of that when you are always going back and create from there? Yeah. So actually, um, there's the thing that um, with financial abuse and with all types of abuse, the abuse, (coughs) the energy of the abuse of that situation, of that trauma is locked into the body. Mm. And and it starts to have that vibration from the body as well. And also it has a trauma, that memory in your whole being. And every time when you go into that area of your life, when you have a topic about money, suddenly, you start to connect to the vibration of this abuse, to this abusive situation. And the reaction from the body and from the being is always contracting. And, you know, as an infinite being, when you are contracted, you can't create what you desire. You start to function from a limited space. So are you choosing to go beyond? Are you choosing to expand out and start to function from the energy, space, and consciousness of the infinite being that you truly be. No matter what comes, no matter who says what, what do you choose? If you had total freedom and choice, what would you choose? What is the life you desire to live What's the life you desire to create? Or what is the financial uh, reality and the future that you desire to create and actualize here on earth and everywhere you go? And everything that doesn't allow you to create with total ease and fun and joy and excitement, will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right Right and wrong, good and bad, 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 and beyond. And actually everywhere where it was told that you are not that smart financial and you have to learn more and you have to um, um, rely and depend on certain leaders, financial leaders, and they will tell you and they will um, lead you. And whatever they tell or whatever they do, it's okay. Even if it doesn't work for you. (laughs) Because it's for the greater good. And if it's not working for you, that's your fault again. Yeah. You did something wrong. (laughs) So everywhere where where all this abuse is a um, reasoning and justification for 
for them keep doing the abuse and for them keep doing these practices. Or you destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender. Right and wrong, good and bad, put them, put them, and short boys and beyonds. So are you willing to be present in your life in the area of finances? As well. And everywhere where you gave up, everywhere where you made yourself wrong, everywhere you decided there is no point, or it's better if you hand over the control to others, we destroy and create all that. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, put them, put them, put them, put them, 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 Cool. Do, is there any question? Do we have any questions? I mean, actually, this is a huge topic. Yeah. And so many areas of that. You said that it is uh, maybe it's locked in the body. And uh, what's the possibility to get it out of the body? Um, is it um, required to do this? Uh, your um, uh, abuse whole processes or is it only choice or what can I do because I don't see it if it's locked in my body mm -hmm. this is the tricky thing I think yeah mm. thank you thank you for this question yeah <laughs> so one part of it is that uh, when it's locked in the body um, there are amazing tools that you can use to unlock the abuse from the body or the, all the different types of abuse so there is um, the abuse hold um, session that's uh, created by uh, Gary Douglas that you can choose to have an abuse hold session with a facilitator who attended this class. Or if you do the prerequisite, you can also attend this class with Gary Douglas or Grace Douglas and learn this technique and uh, receive this session or gift it to yourself or rather it's um, it's it's always better if so, someone else is doing it for you. Yeah, it's much more nurturing for your body. And uh, there is another thing. Um, um, when we were in China, we were holding a class um, about the acoustical body class, and there was a lady and who we were work with, and she had um, an eyesight problem. And what turned out during this work, the session that um, so. The reason for uh, the limited uh, eyesight was um, that she logged into her body, especially into her eyes, um, the, the trauma of abuse, what she had as a child, and different types of traumas. And when it was removed, then what happened, um, the eyesight problems disappeared. She put down the glasses for the class, really. So... And it was sort of like an immediate thing, like it happened during the session, step by step as we removed more and more um, abuse from her body. So, and this is how um, this um, thing, um, the whole uh, breaking out of the prison of abuse class uh, was created. And uh, during this class, we do lots of clearings and life facilitation, but also there is a special um, energetic body process. Two. Like two body processes. Now two, we have two. Um, which is about um, clearing the, the different types of issues from the body and from the being. So really, what else is possible when you have the information? Because... Uh, people think, or mostly um, they think that abuse is only those few areas like the sexual abuse or physical abuse, or abuse is that when it goes beyond a certain limit. But under that, it's okay. If it's not that harsh, it's, it's okay. Part, it's part, of, part of, life. of life. Like this is something that trains and trains you to be a normal person, to be a normal adult or grown up. You have to be abused and judged harshly in order to be okay <laughs> because this is how to you get learn. ready to life <laughs> yeah. but actually it's not really necessary but what do you choose <laughs> or what do they choose for you that you allow them to choose for you <laughs> um cool yeah so there are many ways um many possibilities about um what you can do with the abuse that's locked into the body. 
And actually, um, this summer we will go to Europe. And very soon, actually. Yeah. One and a half weeks. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so exciting. Yeah. So we will hold uh, this uh, breaking out of prison of abuse classes uh, in Europe, in uh, Prague, in the Czech Republic, Czech Republic, and Budapest, and in Moscow. In Russia. In Russia. Yes. And um, yeah, and it's a two and a half day class, and I'm looking forward to meeting you. And really, what else is possible? So the big question is that, um, you know, if if you have or if we have these um, these energies of abuse in our reality, and how many places we have it that we even not yet acknowledged or realized we have it and we are functioning from, and what contribution these classes can be to the body to let go of these energies and to the being to start to function from a different space, from a different reality. And what invitation can it be to the other people? Because, you know, lots of people, they can't see at all, they have choice. They can choose something else. Mm. But, but you can be the invitation for them. Because um, the other thing is, um, so when you are contracted, when you are abused, um, you start to have no choice. And so as we started to see that like people are willing to have more consciousness, they are willing to change their life. But because of the abuse in the world and because of the abuse that was done to them, they start to function from a no choice uh, reality. Like everywhere where they abuse, they start to say, oh, I can't do anything. I have no choices. I have only one choice to do this or do that. So people are still looking for the consciousness, but they can't expand. They can't really choose greater. So what are the areas of your life where you can't choose greater? You can't change that because of the abuse and because of these limitations. Because the whole thing starts with choice. But how can you choose if you are fully abused <laughs> and contracted in that area of your life? And everything that brings up, you destroy and uncreate. Right, right and, and wrong, wrong, good and bad, bad, bad poco, all nine shirts, boys and beyonds. <clears throat> cool. So thank you so much for joining us and really what contribution you can be to the world. And for yourself, in your life, in your family with your kids, with your partners, with your parents, parents and siblings. Yeah? Do you have uh, a question? Yeah, it's a check. Yes. Uh, do you need translation? Uh, do you need translation? Mam dotaz. Pokud Chci mít volbu zbavit se těch zneužití, které se mi v životě dostalo a došli až tak daleko, že nemám na kurz s vámi. Co je tady možné? Uh, how I can get rid of all the abuse? I experience and it all got me to the point that I don't have money and even I don't have money for your course, I would like to take it. Mm -hmm. Well, really, really great question. Uh, so, um, what are the ways to, to receive more? What are the different ways we can expand our capacity to receiving? And everywhere where we are functioning from um, this loophole of, um, you know, I would like to do this, but I was abused, therefore I have no money, so I cannot do this. And everywhere where we go into this, um, like, you know, in excess, there is, if you've been to the bars um, uh, class, 
there is a really cool um, uh, process, process that <clears throat> is now taught together with the bars, which is the trifold sequencing systems that helps you to get out of all these loops. And of course, not just the loops that created around money, but any loop that we are functioning from. You know, a loop is like, like if you had uh, like a grandparents, like a grandfather who was always talking about that. <laughs> oh, when I was young in the Second World War, this happened. And every day when you met, <laughs> he was talking about the Second World War and the same story. And you heard it like 1,000 times. But they were functioning from that same story all the time. And, uh, and if you run the bars together with the trifold sequencing systems, that can really help um, to, to get out of all these loops. And then you can start to create a change in your life. Cool. So that would allow you to start to see different possibilities as well. Um, you can even run it for yourself or you can ask someone to, to run this for you. I think it's part of the bars, the access bars since last year. Last year, yeah. Well, Maybe before that it was only in the foundation, yeah. but there was a change <clears throat> last year and since then it's part of it. So I would recommend to everyone because it's a really, really great um, uh, body process. Cool. Okay. And really, what else is possible? And choice, you know, what do you choose? If you, if you choose it every day, you know, I choose to be conscious uh, all area of my life. I choose to I create. I choose to create more and I choose to receive. It will change. But you have to choose it always, not just once. You, you have to keep choosing it. So what do you choose? Um, Hungarian, the trifold sequencing system is. Uh, uh, someone is asking how, how it is, it is in, in Hungarian. Hungarian. It I is will, a will, will. That one. That's the Hungarian yeah. word for that. <laughs> cool. Okay. So, again, um, thank you so much for everyone joining us. Can I have um, a question, please? Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Hi. Please. <laughs> Cool. So I, I'm sorry, in, in I, I was late because design. I have like uh, what I'm, I'm, yes. My question is, I'm sorry, I was late because I was having an exchange of bars, so I'm not sure if you were discussing it, but uh, it's really important for me to ask this question. When I was, uh, you know, uh, at maternity leave, I was having a little child, and I was married at the time. My husband was really abusing me financially um, because I was depending on him in this way. So I was just thinking, of course, I went to abuse hold and doing a lot of stuff. And it's like 12 years ago and 10 years ago. So it's really past, past. But still, I have a question. How to do it? How to deal with it uh, in a way of not to be um, financially dependent? It likes that not to share the accounts or what to do? Like, do, do you get it? How, how, what I mean? Like, not to be uh, dependent? In, in this in way, so I am a little child, hmm. or what, what else is possible? Here is because a really, we have a really great example for this. <laughs> um, we had, um, when we were holding this class um, um, in a different place, and what happened, there was a lady who had a child, and, um, and you know, there is this usual approach, like, I'm a young mother, no partner, only a child. I can't create that much. I, I have to look after my child and it takes a lot of time, but I can't create the money for that. And, and all, all, the, all these parts of it, everything that belongs to it. And, and after the class, her life changed totally. The way she started to, to, to look, at things. look at things financially and create a different financially financial reality and also create a totally different relationship and now if you look the if we look the pictures of that lady she she is just so vibrant shining and looks so beautiful and and yeah. she's really vibrant full of life full of life when, when she came here for a first session or actually the bars uh, uh, class it, she, she, she looked oh, totally wow. different yeah and um so really um 
there is this big change that, that is really a, amazing and possible and people can choose. Like, um, what if we are not functioning from, from all this thing that as a woman, you have to be dependent on others? And also, um, what is the program we are functioning from when we divorce or when we are single moms? You know, then, th there is the then, program and you have to functioning from. So when what we, is the we, reality of everyone else is yeah. regarding this topic yeah. that we are functioning from that creates this limitation? Whose lies did you buy into or did we buy into when we are moms or uh, a single moms? We have to function from this. So all the reference points and all the programs and all the points of views, would you destroy and uncreate all of that regarding this? Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, good and poco, and and short boys and beyond. And regarding, you know, regarding relationships. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> are, it's a big topic. <laughs> are you willing to uh, look for the partner? So, oh yeah, with women, and money and partners like choosing a partner who has money there is that other big fat lie that then you are a bitch you are wanting only the money and but what if that's about wow you know money is just one of the many energies it's just one and of in the this tools. reality money is actually something that is uh, a tool that can expand your reality and expand others reality so in this reality, this energy is really, really something that shows. So, so those people who can manage and deal with this energy and have the ease in their whole world about this energy, that means, um, you know, they are really great creators. And as a woman, if you can uh, realize that who are the great uh, creators, and actually, yes, there is uh, a word, gold says, digger. the gold diggers. Um, that's how they call them. But what if that's not a wrongness, but acknowledging this capacity? And yeah, so everywhere where women was made wrong for choosing men or partner who are having money, can we just destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender? Right, right and wrong, wrong good, good and bad, good and and short boys and beyonds. And also there is the other part, how many men are choosing to be rich in order to have the woman they desire to have. And everything of that, right and wrong, good and bad, and poco, and shorts, boys, boys and beyonds. Beyond. So actually, if it's not a wrongness, are you willing to use money to create the life you desire? Are you willing to create the life you desire no matter what? If money was not the source of your creation, but you are the source of creation, what would you create? If you are not functioning from, oh, I'm a woman and I have to be, you know, there is this starting point of, of a woman and a strong man and looking for a strong man and depend on a strong man. What if as a woman, you are just as big creator, just as huge and amazing creator as men? And it's not about dependency, but about what is the relationship we are looking for. Creationship, you know, if you can create together, it doesn't have to be the same thing, you know, you, you do everything together, but your life, create your life together. So what is the energy behind that relationship or what is the combination of, of, uh, of the possibilities about the relationship that would create more for you if you were choosing that? And are you willing to choose that without making yourself wrong for it? And are you allowed to have that relationship that creates more for you, where you can create and your partner also can create, where your partner is grateful for you, so it's not a pain on the ass for your partner to give you money or, or to you know, to look after you. And everything that brings up, will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, 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 and bad, And I think there is more and more and more about this. But it's just <laughs> so amazing and huge topic. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Amazing question. So, is there any other question? I have one. If you hear, yeah. if you can hear me. <laughs> yes, yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm 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 feeling sometimes that I'm abusing myself because I'm I like I feel like I have obligation to give uh, money to some people that because they don't want to work for themselves. <laughs> so it's kind of you know. I don't know how to call that, but it's um yeah i mean it's it's their amazing choice like to yeah i i, I yeah it's a choice, but how can I change that choice and ah. just to feel good about <laughs> it anyway yeah, so one part of it you cannot change their choice, <laughs> you can change your own choice that you choose to yes. um you know financially subsidize these people. No. Like, um, because of course uh, there is a lie somewhere where it tells that you have to look after them. But yes. if you were functioning from the space, what creates more? <clears throat> okay, so and uh, so the, the, mm -hmm. so for example, so I, if you are just talking about children, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not translating now, so uh, oh, just oh, sorry. What? Yeah, yeah. So, for example, oh yeah. Yeah, sorry, because she is the Serbian translator. <laughs> Just give us a sign when you finish the translation. Cool. <laughs> Great. Okay. Thank so, you. Continue. Thank you. So, there is this thing. Um, even with kids, like, um, like, uh, what is, what can we teach them to start to have a sense of finances? So start to have the capacity to be present in their area, in their life about money and finances. What, what can you do? In which ways can you be empowering for your children? So it's not about that, oh, from this moment, I'm not going to look after my children and I'm not going to be present for them because they have to look after themselves. <laughs> At what contribution can we be to them? Because that's one thing. And of course, there are so many different um, situation or um, in life where you sort of like have to look after others financially. So are they children, you know, or are they adults? Are they sick or are they healthy? Um, there is always a sense and it's something that you have to follow the energy. Like, are they trying to abuse you financially? Or if you do it, it creates more. Even that, you know, um, when you see a beggar on the street and they are asking for money, like what is the space they are functioning from or, or in which way would it create more if you give them the money or not? So if, if money was just an energy and you are the source of your creation and you can create as much you desire, how would you use money? If, if, and that's another thing, are you willing to use money to expand your reality? To look into things that I spend money on things and I spend money in a certain way to expand my reality. Like buying those clothes that if you buy, that has this, this sense of expansion or buying uh, furniture, buying um, all the different things, or even just food, or, or buying like a, like a holiday and overseas travel, or, or just attending the class. <laughs> so which are the ways and which, yeah, which are the ways that you can spend your money to create something greater to expand your reality because many times when people sp uh, spend their money it's about um <clears throat> retail therapy 
which is it's I, different. Sp- I spend a little bit more <laughs> and I feel better. But five minutes later, you just feel the same, same shit. So, so this is not about expanding your reality, but that's retail. It's therapy. expanding money. Ha-ha. Yeah, <laughs> it's just simply spending money. So, if you were looking into each and every situation in your life, everywhere where you have to deal with money, what are the situations and and how you can deal with money, how you can manage money, to th- that creates greater for you and for the people involved. And if you start to function from this, obviously you will do things that other people would say you are insane or you are crazy. You shouldn't do this because that's, that's being idiot. But what creates more for you Are you willing to give up the need to match other people's expectations and really um, create the reality and the life and living that you desire? What if you are allowed to spend the money on things that you desire, that you value, that you are aware of, it creates more? Even if you give it as a gift, even if you give it as a donation, if you have that sense, it creates more you know, and we are looking for to create more in the future, to create more on planet Earth, to expand other people's reality. And when you expand other people's reality, it also expands yours. Are you willing to be that? Are you willing to look at it? Like, um, for many, many years, I think up to two and a half years before now, we had this point of view of, <clears throat> of checking the value of everything and comparing the value to other things, and then based on this comparison, make a decision whether it's it's reasonable price or not reasonable, and and look into it from all angles. Like yeah, you that, know, that you time we didn't ask any questions. Of course, yeah, it was, but, but that's how usually works for people. Like you know? even if you buy a clothes, sometimes you don't buy the best brand, the thing that you would love because, oh, it's too expensive, and actually the material doesn't cost that much. <laughs> you know, you can buy. But, but, but the thing is, does it work for you if you function from this? So, because it's really not from the space of spending money for something that creates more, that expands your reality. And in this reality, the greatest way, like it's so amazing to use this tool this way, to expand your reality. And then um, it started to change when we were choosing something greater for ourselves. And we said, okay, now we go to an overseas holiday and money doesn't really matter. And we spend and, yeah. and we choose something the most luxurious. Finally, we allow ourselves to, to receive have more. fun and, and enjoy. That was the first time actually for us. And that cre- it, it created a lot. It, it opened up for us uh, a lot. Because the thing is, when you are willing to um, value something based on how much it can expand your reality, it starts to allow you, like it, it gives you this amazing thing that you can receive more. And you can create there, more. There is more possible, more available. It's like this is just something, beginning uh, thing. So when you are willing to receive more, then you can create more. And that allows you to receive more. And that allows you to create more. And that allows you to receive more. And it's so amazing. That's but, how you can go beyond, always beyond. And financially beyond. But actually when you function from that, what is the value? And compared to other things, what is the value? Can you sense how limited and how blocked and contracted this? And it doesn't allow you to expand it just compare this is the value okay it's under the value it's over the value i choose this is a matching choose. value okay then i spend it and i don't buy it it's it's very limited very ordered very um in in this box you, you put yourself and your whole financial reality in a box and it limits you so what do you choose which many ways you can look into your finances and change your financial reality that creates more for you and for others. Yeah. 
So even, even if you have no money or not much money, what are the choices you can make that will create like an expansion that will expand your financial reality? Because that will allow you to generate more money and receive more money and value you more. And everything brings up. Will you destroy and uncreate all of that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, put and poke, and short boys and beyond. Cool. So thank you so much for today. Thank, thank you, you for, for everyone for all, joining us. All and, the great questions. And thank you for the translators as well. Amazing. You are so amazing for this. Yeah. Um, this work that you do. And uh, we are so grateful. And thank you for, for spreading the word. And what else is really possible beyond abuse? Yeah. How can we create a world, a future without abuse? And beyond. And beyond. And go beyond and beyond. Cool. Thank you. We will send out the recordings with the dates uh, and the information if you would like to join to the classes. Uh, and hope to see you soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye